it, it just seems that today with uh, you know like there's just so many things you just have two parents at home both working uh, the family unit is just torn by a lot of crisis and you just have dysfunctional individuals you know how does the whole concept of family even come into place today if people are just going to be busy doing other things and the tv now is taken a very prominent place you know and of course mobile devices and a whole lot of things so how do we bring in something like the gospel which we know has the power to change lives if mm. people are so busy that they do not even have time to hear or listen or what do we do how do we tell them i'm glad you asked me the question janet um there's a little boy when he was asked what is your father doing and what's your mother doing he said my father is doing hardware mother is doing software and i am nowhere now it is coming from a heart of a child who is not able to handle loneliness it's a myth that people say that we have to save for the future and my answer is my question is why save for the future when you can't give the present for the child and the children are not asking for electronic gadgets you know today the problem is when i am not able to spend time with my children the best way to keep them quiet is to give something what they ask for and leave it there but the electronic gadgets and the toys are not going to shape the character of the child and i need to be there yes parents are working but then parents need to find time to come back home early or be there after they come back home sometimes what happens we leave the key with the neighbor the child comes and opens the door sits there all alone till 9 o'clock there is no presence and the child doesn't do the studies well and then when the mark drops the parents get angry let me give you an example there's a fifth standard girl who committed suicide so i immediately called the principal and asked what is the reason she said call me back after 20 minutes pastor i will give you the you know the answer after 20 minutes when i called i said what is the mother's reaction she said the mother no is a beautician she comes back home at about 9:30 10 father is a businessman he travels and most of the time he's not in the house this fifth standard girl comes home at 3 o'clock takes a key from the neighbors opens the door and stays there till about 9 till the mother comes in so when the mother was asked what happened the mother said i knew it will happen finished so are we growing a society that is insensitive to the people whom we love also am i so self centered i'm only looking at my career my money my house my car and not even worried about others in the family now the gospel can transform an individual who in turn can transform the family because for me when i read the bible the institution of the family the home is by god it's not a man made idea and god gave so much of importance for a husband and wife relationship and parent child relationship so i think we need to bring back these values because the bible says unless the lord builds the house those who build it build it in vain now we can have beautiful houses but if there is no home you lost it all today we are looking for top architects top engineers top quality wood and good you know bricks and all this but nobody is talking about a good designer who can design the home well with a harmonious relationship let me make one statement an unhappy home will always breed unbalanced children so i think we need to talk about happiness and the verse that i can quote is blessed are those the b attitudes when you look at it it's happiness is those who find the security in christ